Hi everybody, this is JJ Long from JJ Artworks and welcome to episode 78 of our podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in, we truly appreciate it. In this week's episode, I'm actually going to talk about something that I never would have thought in a million years I would talk about on the podcast channel, but it's relevant to what's going on in my life right now. And I want to talk about the different ways that humans grieve when we lose a loved one. And there's no right or wrong way to grieve. Everyone grieves in their own ways. But I, if, if you don't know, I recently lost my Oma a couple of weeks ago. And Oma in Dutch just means grandmother. So she was my last surviving grandparent and we miss her dearly. My concept of time is completely distorted right now because I feel like she's just gonna walk through the door at any moment and surprise us all. And then it feels like she's also been gone for a long time. So I'm in this weird sort of transition period with time. I know that sounds bizarre, but what I am realizing though, on a quick side note, is that time is precious. And I have this new sense of urgency about me to really get my dreams dialed in and to really take aggressive action toward things. So I'm sort of nudging up my timeline on certain goals that I have for myself, but I'll leave that for another podcast episode. But basically, what I realized from this whole entire experience, or one thing that I observed amongst my family and loved ones and close friends, is that we all grieve in different ways. And there's no right or wrong way to grieve. So, for example, I personally grieve in public, and I can show my emotions in public. So I was crying like a baby when I found out that my Oma passed away and it didn't matter if people were in the room, it didn't matter if I was at the grocery store, it didn't matter if I was riding in the car with, with people. Sometimes I would just break down and cry. But then I also do grieve in an introverted way behind closed doors where I'm just thinking about memories I shared with my Oma or just different different uh, experience that is, experiences that I had with her and it's there's just there's no right or wrong way to grieve I I have a member of my family and I'm going to try not to be too descriptive here call certain individuals in my family call them out on how they grieve but I have some members of my family the way that they cope with things is they play video games and they just need that time to escape from reality and they sort of suppress their emotions, you know, they're, they're not very open with, with their emotions and they sort of retreat backward. I have other members of my family and I actually fall into this category as well where they need to stay busy. So they'll do housework or they'll clean or they'll vacuum or they'll do the dishes or something. And to some respect, I'm also that way too. Other members of the family, they would just be bawling their eyes out, hugging people. They'd need to really talk about how they feel. And they they, they tend, to, tend to lean on people more. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I just want to share with everybody that it's okay to grieve in your own way. And you shouldn't be ashamed for grieving in the way that you grieve. And also, if you are someone that's grieving, you shouldn't judge people for grieving that the way they grieve. Because I remember back in the day when I experienced some type of loss, whether it be another family member that passed away or something. And I think the first death in my family was my grandmother on my father's side. So my grandma. And I think this was, I think I was maybe in my early 20s, I forget. And I remember I couldn't cry. I couldn't force myself to cry. I didn't feel compelled to cry. I felt sad and I really missed her a lot, but I couldn't bring myself to cry at the wake, at the funeral, in front of family. And I thought there was something wrong with me. And there's nothing wrong with you. At, at that point in time, the way I grieved was behind closed doors. And that's the only way I grieved. And then as I got older and older and older, and I realized that crying in public and being emotional, there's nothing wrong with it. I felt just more accepted to be able to 
cry in public and it's not something that like I strive toward it's not it's not like I I I need to cry in public but I also don't suppress the feelings that I feel when they come up so and maybe I've learned this from being an actor over the years I'm not sure but when I feel some type of remorse or grief you know, bottle up inside me and, and it wants to come out I let it just come out naturally I don't push it down but if you are someone that you feel it and you push it down that's fine eventually you will probably purge that out of your system behind closed doors maybe you're driving to the supermarket or something or maybe you're doing the dishes and feelings will just come over you I know another member of my family she was running an errand and she just started bursting in tears and it was uncontrollable and members of my family had to console her so it happens when it happens don't feel like you are doing something wrong don't feel guilty for any reason we all grieve in different ways and there's no right or wrong way to do it so i'm just going to leave it at that this is a nice short and sweet episode thank you all so much for your patience and for your love and support during this trying time with my family this is this was a really really heavy loss for my family and we're still you know we have a long road ahead of us through through grieving and, and all that but it's been it's been a very uh, it's been a great learning process for me and I'm just grateful for the time that I got to spend with with my Oma she she will be uh, surely missed I, I love her to death but I still embody a lot of the lessons that she that she bestowed upon me and the, the biggest lesson is unconditional love no matter what so love you guys thanks for tuning in and i will talk to you all next week in episode 79 have a great one talk to you soon bye, -bye.